Sup gamers, welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal, it's Silver. Last time, we explored through the Diglett's Cave, battled the Snorlax, and made it here to Pewter City. This time, we're gonna be exploring around Pewter City a bit, and getting to know ourselves, getting to know the city and our surroundings a little bit better. Have you visited Pewter Gym? The leader uses Rock-type Pokemon. Rock-types, huh? Well, that's kind of a joke compared to what we're used to. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of when I was, like, a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. The Silver Wing! What a time to obtain this item! And you're gonna want to remember it. It is a really, really crucial item. And if you are playing through Silver or Soul Silver, this would be the Rainbow Wing. Like the Silver Wing? Remember that item as well if you are playing Silver or Soul Silver. They are really crucial items. Here in Shake. Um. Alright, kid. Starting to wonder what your situation might be. Uh, up here, we really don't have much going on there. Uh, here. At night, Clefairy came out to play at Mount Moon, but not every night. Clefairy, huh? I like snoozing with the radio on. Terrible, terrible attempt at a snore. Hope that doesn't get picked up. Uh, now I think the big piece to keep in mind about Pewter City lies up here. We have two trees, a mint berry. And here is an ice berry. And now that we can go, I believe we can enter through the side of the building. Okay, I guess not. Can we enter from, no, this building's just straight up closed off. Anyway, if you remember from red and blue, this is the place where you can get the old amber. Kinda can't do it anymore here. Wait, did the entire museum just close down? There's a notice here. Peter Museum of Science is closed for renovation. Oh, wow. They really closed this place. Well, there goes the main attraction for Pewter City. Um, other than maybe the gym, which we already know specializes in rock-type Pokemon. Uh, anyway, there's something else here that I want to find. Uh, it's not in this house, so that's a Nidoran guy. It's not up here. There once was a weird old man with an old sold the Magikarp. He was saying that the Magikarp from the Lake of Rage were ex- and that's where that Magikarp came from? Good to know. Hi, right, check out my Gyarados. I raised it from the Magikarp. I can't believe how strong it has become. Yeah, you gotta reference the Magikarp salesman, because why not? Is there any... Okay, I guess I should answer the next question. Are you in the Pokemon Center? Most Pokemon get drowsy if they hear a Jigglypuff singing. There are several moves that can be used only when a Pokemon is asleep. Hmm. Oh, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have a Haunter, would you trade for my Zatu? Yeah, okay, that's this guy. We have another in-game trade. If you're lucky enough to have a Haunter, Particularly one that, you know, you caught in the rock tunnel, or on the routes, or on Route 8. You can trade it to this guy. He will give you two Pokemon, depending on your version. Crystal Zatu. But we'll get to that one later. For We're gonna start off with the Gold and Silver trade. Now, if you're playing Crystal... If you're playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you, ought to, you, get, the, you get the Zatu trade. Thank goodness, because the first one is terrible. This guy wants a Haunter for Rapidash. I didn't like you when you encountered you prior to Victory Road, and I especially don't want you now that you want me to trade away a... a, a f this guy wants a Gloom. A Gloom for a Rapidash. This is a physical fire-type attacker that can't get any use out of its physical attacks, Dad. Doesn't help that Rapidash is one of the sh has one of the shallowest move poles I've ever seen in a Pokemon. With all of its exceptional moves, being either normal or fire type. 
And I also, I also, I didn't recommend Ponyta back then because of its backward stats, and I especially don't recommend it now that it wants me to trade away something good for it. On the bright side, as I said earlier, this is a gold and silver exclusive trade. If you're playing Crystal the Remakes, you get Zatu on the other hand. Interesting type combination of Psychic Flying, good special attack and speed to function as a mix sweeper. However, the problem here is that its type combo doesn't help eliminate any of its weaknesses from its from any type. It has five weaknesses total. Defenses are crummy, and unable to deal with set damage. It's unable to learn many attacking moves, but its only notable attacking moves being up to this point is Psychic at an excruciatingly painful level 65. Similar to Rapidash, I cannot recommend this. But I'd also recommend using the Psychic TM on this one if you had, if you can, just to get past that level 65 prerequisite. And that's basically, well, it for Pewter City. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, but we're not entirely done with this area yet. We can head east onto Route 3, and we can, we're gonna go ahead and beat up some trainers here. Hmm, I don't know what to do. So you're gonna fight me instead. Wow, guys. Wow. Uh, Youngster Warren has a... Fero? You're gonna fight me with a fear? Okay. If that's what you want. Psychic. So the route, the route, the route to Mount Moon is not really that different compared to red and blue. I mean, aside from the fact that you can now encounter Clefairy here, which in the past you can only get within Mount Moon. But Mount Moon just, just it serves as a link between Pewter City and Cerulean City, and we couldn't exactly go to Cerulean, we couldn't exactly come here from Cerulean because of those ledges that blocked the path off. Uh, you've got Youngster Jimmy and his Raticate. Uh, at this rate, I'm just gonna go ahead and start skipping trainers. Alright, so with you done... Uh, don't tell me there's a trainer down there. If there was, I'm gonna wanna fight them. Nope. Man, it... Man, even the routes got stripped of their... Now we gotta fight this guy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now... Um... I kind of have no particular reason for doing this, but I am going to put Fan Lenorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fan Lenorn in the lead. Uh, Bastet's had a lot of fun right now, um, but the last thing is time we actually get some other party members. We're actually leveled up properly, and we got another trainer. Why? Of course. Uh, you're a trainer of interest. Slugma. Oh, I'm gonna have some fun picking you apart. Fan, please kill this thing. There you go. Bye, Slugma. <laughs> what a terrible Pokemon, dude. Oh, I, I hate that thing. I, I hate Slugma. And no Pokemon Center here now. Yeah, I guess they just decided they were going to pick the entire thing apart. Anyway, let's head on in. And guess who's waiting for us? It's been a while, Silver. Since I lost you, I thought about what I was lacking with my Pokemon. And we came up with an answer. Silver, now we'll show you. Alright. Paired with a new trainer sprite, Neo wants the battle. With a Sneasel, level 41, Dark Ice type, with the moves, Quick Attack, Screech, Faint Attack, and Fury Cutter. No Ice type moves, meaning Fan Lenorn is not, you know, at any at all phase about any potential threats. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try going for Rollout. Let's see how many Pokemon of his I can take out at the same time. Let's go. You should be going down there. Okay, Sneasel's gone. Uh, let's see what he's gonna attempt next. You're gonna use Feraligator next, okay. Feraligator is level 45 water type with a Moose Slash, Scary Face, Rage, and Water Gun. You're level 45 and you are still using Water Gun as your primary water attack. Uh, we're not scared of you in any capacity. 
than this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna take for out. This is gonna take out for an alligator. Okay, I was almost a little scared there. You had me a little terrified. Uh, Golbat is next. Level 42, Poison Flying Type. It moves Wing Attack, Confuse Ray, Bite, and Leech Life. You're attempting to flinch me. And it didn't work, but I missed. Okay. So I took out two of his Pokemon. That's fine and dandy. Uh... Let's switch into... I don't want to risk you going in for bite or anything, so I'm gonna go to Plessy for this one. I don't wanna- I don't wanna lose Bastet, because Bastet can be really useful for the fight. Yeah, see? Yeah. I fi- I figured that much. Okay, wing attack. And there goes your ice beam. Golbat should be down. Alright. Uh, Wyvern, I'm surprised you haven't leveled up at all yet. Uh, Magneton is coming out. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to Fan Lenorn. Magneton is level 41. Electric Steel type. The moves, Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock, and Swift. You have a ground type? This thing's not a- this thing's not a threat to you whatsoever. In fact, the only thing that this thing can really do to you that can really harm you is Swift. Because it never misses. But you're going with the other route, Sonic Boom. And there goes your Magneton. <laughs> okay. Two are left, and we haven't lost a single Pokemon. There's Wyvern's level 51. Alright. We're getting close. Uh, crap, I didn't even see what's coming out next. Uh... I'm gonna take a wild shot in the dark and say it is the... Yeah, that's not what I wanted to say. Alakazam, level 43, psychic type, with the moves recover, future sight, disable, and psi beam. Good news is, this thing can't touch Bastet at all. And we got Shadow Ball. So at least we have something to use against it. And the last Shadow Ball... Wait, what? What? Huh? Not complaining, but you just lost to a physical attacking Espeon. And here comes Gengar, level 43, Ghost Poison type. The moves: Shadow Ball, Curse, Mean Look, and Confuse Ray. This thing can cause damage to Bastet. Unfortunately, Psychic's going off. That should be the end of the battle. And that's it. Down goes Gengar. Bastet with cleanup duty. Neo was defeated. I thought I raised my Pokemon to be the best they could be. But, still it wasn't enough. You won fair and square. I admit it. But this isn't the end. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer ever. Because these guys are behind me. Listen, Silver. One of these days, I'm going to prove how good I am by beating you. In a way, you've already beaten me like three separate times, dude. You remember Azalea Town? You know, the time where you beat me because I couldn't beat your freaking crocodile? Anyway, Mount Moon. There's... I'm straight up serious. The Mount Moon Square. Don't litter. I'm actually not joking. This is literally everything in Mount Moon. Not even joking. That's everything in the area. So. I think with that. That'll end us off for today. And next time on Pokemon Crystal. I think it's about time. We took on the Pewter City Gym. See you guys then.